Macbeth is a male-heavy play, and we wanted to normalise women in this world. It would feel really wrong in this imagined future not to have women in positions of power and explore what new relationships this creates. It's important not to glimpse over what any potential relationship is. The text is like a word search to discover new things. Lizzie Mannering, Assistant Director, Macbeth, RSC, 2023. This writing activity allows students to create their very own scene for Macbeth. They will explore the relationships between characters that never or barely meet on stage, but whose fates are significantly linked. It will also encourage them to develop their own language to reflect their characters' inner needs and conflict. You will need resource D, character study, paper and pens. Organise your students into pairs and hand each pair one character from resource D and pens. Ask the pair to work together and list everything they know about their character from the play. Now ask them to invent as much extra information about their character as they can in 10 minutes. Prompt questions might be, where were they born? Who were they closest to? What do they most fear? What is their greatest desire? What was the happiest and saddest moment of their life? Repeat this with another character from the list. Or if you're short of time or the students require more support, ask pairs with different characters to join up. Explain that they now have 15 minutes to write a short scene where these two characters meet. Encourage them to consider the following. What do these two people think of each other? Where is this meeting? Choose somewhere that makes the scene more interesting or more challenging for one character than the other. For example, the porter visiting Duncan's castle for a job interview. Is this their first meeting or does it follow a specific moment in the play? How have they prepared for this meeting? Have they dressed to impress? What can add to the tension in the scene? For example, does Lady Macbeth meet Lady Macduff accompanied by all her children? How would this affect both women? Encourage your pairs or groups to use different methods to create their scene, such as planning the beginning, middle and end. Why do they meet? What happens? How must it end? Deciding what both characters want from each other and if they get it. Deciding how they want this scene to affect the audience. Improvising the meeting in character, writing down any lines, they can rewrite these afterwards to make them sharper, funnier, or more powerful. Using stage directions where needed. When the scenes are written, invite your pairs to take turns reading their scene to another group and ask for any positive feedback. Are there any lines that could be rewritten or cut? Any moments that could be more dramatic? After this feedback, give the pairs a few more minutes to work on their scenes then invite them to read draft two to the whole group. Discuss these changes. If you have extra time, they could swap and perform each other's scenes with props and costumes if you have access to them. Reflection point. In our 2023 production, all of these five characters are played by women. How might this change of gender affect the relationships in the play? For example, Duncan as Queen of Scotland, Macbeth murdering a woman, Banquo as a female soldier and friend of Macbeth, a female porter joking with male lords. Does gender change our notions of friendship, leadership or class? How different are these views in modern times compared to Shakespeare's world 400 years ago? Production notes. Macbeth contains some of Shakespeare's most powerful imagery. The creative team worked very hard to incorporate his images and many more into this production to firmly plant the text and themes into the audience's minds. 
The bloody captain, who speaks in Act 1, Scene 2, is dressed entirely in red and painted red. This introduces the theme of bloodshed and illustrates the bloody encounter that Macbeth has just won in battle, which the captain describes. The witch's fingers are black, connecting them to the poisoned earth they've been born from. This contrasts to other characters' fingers, which are stained with blood, depending on how much killing they've done. Macbeth and Lady Macbeth's hands are completely covered in blood after Duncan's murder. Hands continue to be an important image in this production. Macduff cuts off Macbeth's hand instead of his head at the end, emphasising what evil has been done by them. The witches pounce on this severed hand as if planning to use it in another spell. The witches use giant mathematical compasses at the beginning of the second half, suggesting they are playing with the earth, measuring it out for their plans, or even creating magic circles. A giant red circle of light appears on the ground where Macbeth visits the witches, representing the circle of hell and a higher power of evil. We see a rainbow on the back wall during Malcolm's final speech, suggesting he is bringing light and good into a poison world and that there is some hope. 